Britain's fifth Prime Minister was William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire. Now, Devonshire succeeded the Duke of Newcastle following on from his first term, and he is one of our shortest serving Prime Ministers. His period in office was from November 1756 to June 1757. This was at the start of the Seven Years' War. Um, he was in many ways a nominal Prime Minister, certainly not an influential figure. And this is a write-up from 10 Downing Street, the website. A reluctant Prime Minister and known as one of the best-looking men in London, the Duke of Devonshire had no real first for political power, and his short time in office was dominated by William Pitt the Elder. George II had to work to persuade him to accept the position of Prime Minister. When he died at age 36, the effective Premier was Pitt the Elder, acting as Secretary of State. The chief events for his term were the court-martialing of a Navy Admiral for his failure to relieve Menorca and a dispute with the Duke of Cumberland over the defence of Hanover. The Duke resigned after a lacklustre seven months. Okay, so a little bit of personal information about the Duke of Devonshire. Um, he was born in 1764 in Spa, the Austrian Netherlands, which is now Belgium. And he died in, in the same place in 1764 at the age of just 44. Um, apologies, my mistake. He was born in 1720 in London by the sounds of it, and he died in 1764 in Spa in the Austrian Netherlands, now Belgium. Uh, one notable thing about the Duke of Devonshire, he was our shortest lived Prime Minister. He was only 44 when he died. Um, and I'll just see if I could find some references to his cause of death. Um, no. Uh, he had a long. He had long had a weak constitution, and he gradually drew, grew more ill during the years of um, whilst he was Lord Lieutenant of Derbyshire. Um, he grew ill during those years. This was after his premiership, uh, and he had gone to take the waters at Spa in Belgium, but obviously that didn't help him. Um, there's really not a great deal to say about Devonshire's premiership. Like I say. The nominal head really was Pitt the Elder. Um, however, certain there were some important legislations passed. The Militia Act of 1757 established militia regiments in all counties in England and Wales, reviving a system of home defence that had been in absence since the Civil War. He was a Whig, as were most of our early Prime Ministers, and um, that's really all there is to say. If you've seen the film The Duchess, the Duke of Devonshire featured in that film, I believe, is this man's son, just to give you some reference to that. Um, so that is our fifth Prime Minister, William Cavendish, the fourth Duke of Devonshire, um, who was also known as the Marquess of Huntington before 1755. Um, he was the son of William Cavendish, the third Duke of Devonshire. The Devonshires are one of Britain's most uh, prominent peerage peerages, um, and that is some information on the Duke of Devonshire. Um, he was succeeded when he stepped down in 1757 by the second term of the Duke of Newcastle. Um, it looks like his entire term was taken, uh, was was dominated by the Seven Years' War in foreign policy. But certainly Devonshire isn't remembered as one of our great Prime Ministers. He's more a passing figure, a nominal head, as opposed to a particularly influential figure which could be said of some of our uh, other early Prime Ministers, such as the Earl of Wilmington. Um, okay.